Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for November 11th through the 17th. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I just decided I was going to do yours because it was your turn. That's how come. It's Sagittarius's turn, right? It is. It's your turn. What do we got for Sagittarius for the week of November 11th through the 17th? Ooh, we got some hmm, blocked emotions here. Somebody is unsure. It's like they have this divided lo loyalty. Which way should I go? Should I be loyal to this one or should I be loyal to that one? There's definitely some divided loyalty here. There's some sort of truth. You may know some sort of truth and you don't know what to do, if you should tell, if you should keep it to yourself. What's the story? What should I do here? What way should I go? Should I stay here or should I go there? You're probably feeling a little undecided right now. You're probably feeling conflicted. I see conflict here. You definitely don't know what to do. You probably have some sort of information that, you know, is very pertinent to a situation and you're keeping it to yourself probably protecting yourself you're probably maybe a little fearful of giving the information but you have the information you know the information um, you probably have your guard up you're worried I think that you're probably really really worried about a situation you may be feeling anxious um, you may even be feeling a little scared you're probably having not getting much sleep because you have to make a difficult decision you probably have to choose between two people or two avenues or two situations or something like that. Um, I, I see stress here. You're probably pretty stressed out over a situation. Um, you're probably dealing with some challenges right now. You're probably a little bit overwhelmed. Okay, You may want to just avoid this whole thing. It would be great if you could avoid this whole thing. I feel like um, you, may, you, may, you could even be a little bit angry. I think change is on the horizon. It's kind of out of your control. You're trying to juggle. You're trying to be flexible. You're trying to adapt. You're trying to keep everything together, but it's not easy. It's like this is just a bit much for you. I think that you're trying to uh, definitely choose between two people or two loyalties here. Um, I think you're a little unsure of which way to go dissatisfied you really dissatisfied uh, with with making a decision you probably don't want you probably know that you have to make a choice but you really don't want to make a choice because it's a tough one I think you're you're involved with a tough decision here I think there's a lack of wish fulfillment a lack of emotional fulfillment here um, it, this has to do with somebody moving on, going to a better place, whether it's you or somebody that you are involved with and you know this information and you're just very confused or you just don't know which way to go. Um, but this is about moving on. So somebody needs to move on. They need to go to a better place. Somebody is in a troubled situation. Maybe you're the one that knows this and you have the information, but you're keeping it to yourself. Does It could go so many different ways. But this is uh, moving away from a troubled situation. If you, if you choose to do so, this is a choice, and this is a choice. It's like you have the choice of how you're going to handle whatever situation this is. Right now, there's no victory. There's no progress. Um, there's a lack of respect. There's a lack of confidence as well. You may not. You may feel like. Um, you don't have the strength or you don't have the knowledge or you don't have the skills to help or that you just don't know what to do. I have to tell you, it just happened to notice this, this. Nine, nine, nine. So we got nine, nine, nine. Nines are about closure. So it's like there's something that it's time, it's time to move on. It's a sign to move on. So if you are confused or you're wondering if you're making the right decision or if you're thinking, should I go or should I stay or what should I do or should this person move on or whatever the case, yes. With three nines, it is time to move on. It is time for closure. 
Okay, wherever you're at, there's no progress being made. There's no success here. There's probably a lack of respect. I think that you have been trying to uh, avoid this change. You've been trying to avoid this difficult decision. Um, but I think that you do know the truth. And I think that... You're probably going to speak the truth eventually. I think right now you're holding back, but I don't think you're going to be able to hold back for much longer because there's a lot of stress here, and I think it's it's weighing you down. It's hurting you. It's like you're... It's causing you a lot of mental exhaustion. But anyway, 999, feel free to look it up. It is You're tolerating. You're tolerating a situation. But anyway, it's time for you to close something. It's time to move on. But you're holding back. You really, really are holding back with that wheel of fortune. It's like you're clinging to control. You're not letting the wheel spin you in another direction when it's really, really trying to, Sagittarius. It's like they're, they're trying. They're trying to get you to a better place. But you're, res you're, you're so resistant to it. It's like you just don't want to deal with this change. But change is inevitable. So I would stop blocking it. It's like you're, you're, you're blocking your own success. You're blocking your own blessings and rewards by keeping, keeping yourself stuck in a situation, by trying to control, by not wanting to face change. Um, there is a chapter that needs to come to an end, but you're just so reluctant to make a move. You could be dealing with an individual that isn't taking very good care of you. Or this could be you. We do have an individual here that doesn't know their worth, doesn't know their value, isn't taking very good care of themselves. This person um, isn't very nurturing, isn't very um, loving, isn't very abundant. And, they're, and it's because they don't know their value. You know, they just don't value themselves. Um, I'm wondering if you are dealing with a person that... Um, well, I don't know if this is, if you are a female watching this, this is an easy woman. This woman is easy. She really doesn't know her value. She sleeps around. She, she, she doesn't have any patience. You know what I mean? She just wants somebody. She's whatever. So if you are the male, you could be dealing with this woman who is easy. This is an easy woman. Okay. She's easy. He ain't an empress. Okay. You could all, if you are, this could also have to do with a mother for some of you. Okay, for others, this is a mother that you are dealing with that doesn't take very good care of you. Okay, um, there's a lot of dissatisfaction. There's no success. There's a lack of respect. This could go, and if this isn't a mother, if this is you, you could be dealing with somebody that doesn't respect you and they don't respect you because you don't respect yourself. If you don't respect yourself, don't expect it to get it from anybody else because your vibration attracts, you know, like attracts like, okay? So anyway, it's, it's time for you, for you to move on from a situation. Or if you are in the middle of a situation, say you're, say if this is a different scenario and you're in the middle and you, people, you're being pulled in two different directions, and you just you don't know what who to go with my advice is to follow your gut okay tell go with the truth speak the truth be authentic let the truth prevail do the right thing don't hold yourself back do not let anybody take advantage of you you will adapt to any changes, sir, any changing changes, you will adapt to any changing circumstances pretty quickly. You will. Once you get to that better place, you will feel at ease. You will feel like you can let your guard down. You will be able to breathe again, but you have to stop blocking it. You have to, you have to, you know, take that next step. Stop blocking your own success. I see the end of a relationship here, friendships going going away. Um, if you, somebody has been in a, somebody could have been in a third party situation where they were cheated on, 
maybe there, somebody got themselves involved with an easy woman, you know, and maybe they have regrets. There could be regrets here. Somebody has some sort of regrets. Um, we do have a new sexual partner here or a new beginning. Okay, somebody may have gotten themselves engaged in a sexual encounter, just saying, that led to nowhere and they're having regrets. They may have met this person on social media or who knows where and they're feeling down in the dumps because it didn't work out. Well, maybe next time you need to be a little bit more patient and choose a little bit more wisely. And I don't know who this reading is for. I really do not. I, that, I don't know why that came out of my mouth. Now, this is a run of bad luck. So maybe you have been through a period of bad luck. Maybe you need to be more discerning. I don't know where that message is coming from. I feel as though don't jump. Take time. Take time to think about things before you get engaged with people. Um, some, you're dealing with somebody, Sagittarius, that doesn't tell the truth. Um, you may know who this person is. This person is a liar. Um... I feel as though you are definitely unsure as to whether you should stay someplace or you should go. Should you stay or should you go? You're really stuck right now. You're really stuck as or and is, is whether it's stay or go, it's it's what side you should be on cuz this could go either way. It's which which side should I be on? I feel like you have been stuck for quite some time. You've been stuck in a situation that is depressing. Stuck, stuck, depressing. I think that you know the truth. I think that you're about ready to speak the truth, even though you're a little scared to speak the truth. I think that you are. I think that you are going to move in another direction. I think it's going to happen suddenly. I think somebody has been lying and the truth is going to come out and it is going to help you to move on. I think that you are going to suddenly make a decision to just whatever decision you've been struggling to make I think something is going to happen abruptly that is going to um, move you in the direction that you need to go you're going to be experiencing a change in this next week that uh, happens suddenly you a new doorway is opening a new path a new horizon it's like you're being given this golden opportunity maybe it's something you manifested and here it is this can give you an opportunity to learn new things it can uh, give you a better opportunity to grow to make more money to start over you're going to be starting over and it may not be easy it may not be pretty but it's going to lead you some towards some sort of Stability. It's going to lead you, it's going to bring you some sort of security and stability that you really need in your life. You are headed towards something new that is going to bring you some sort of stability. And this is, this is, this is something that you're going to have to adapt to. You're going to be adapting to some sort of change in the upcoming week. I don't think you can avoid it. I don't think you can avoid it. Somebody is probably rushing in very, very fast. They have there. It's like they have something for you, or they give you this opportunity, to, and they take you somewhere, and it just broadens your horizons. And it, it almost it's almost like it spruces things up for you as well. Okay, things change very fast. You're going to experience a big change in this next week. There's going to be some sort of closure because that is what nines is. And I think this is closure that you're a little bit scared of. You may have uh, be worried about it. Okay. I think there's going to be um, a messenger or somebody that comes in very, very quickly that tells you something that makes you feel uncomfortable. It's something you really didn't want to hear, but it's something that you needed to hear because you were you were so divided, you were so unsure, you were so stuck. This is going this information is or this whatever it is, this person is going to uh, give you the information or give you the nudge or give you the opportunity, the the go ahead. They're they're gonna help you. 
Okay, whatever this is. It's good. They're gonna they're gonna help you to get out of this stuck situation. So you got help arriving. Somebody is coming in very, very quickly. And they're giving you a golden opportunity, something that you can uh, run with. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments. You're going to be releasing something. And then you're going to be experiencing more love. Almost instantly. I feel that. I really do. So Sagittarius, be prepared for some sort of change. And this is positive change. But as it's happening, you're probably not going to feel... Um, comfortable with it because you've been avoiding it right you've been avoiding it you've been stressing over it you you were undecided about it you were unsure it's like somebody makes the decision or they give you this opportunity that you can't pass up you it's like it's out of your hands this is this is too good you gotta go it's time to go and it's like you're going you're going so that's the way it is so Sagittarius be prepared to get unstuck from a situation this could be the very first steps of getting unstuck, okay? So this could be step one, all right? So this is this is something happening for you. You're going to receive something that is going to start the process of release, whatever this is. And it's going to, wherever you're going, you are going to a much, much better place. It's like leaving that trouble behind. Where the, you're going to where it's more peaceful. And you're going to have to adapt to this change. You, 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 got, you got some change coming. You, you, you may have tried to avoid it. You may not have seen it. You may have been in denial. You may have been in divided. Whatever. I think that your time of not knowing <laughs> is over. Because somebody's going to step in and they're going to give you the clarity that you need. And that's what I got. Good luck, Sagittarius.